Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rafe Gal jumping in to uh, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Uh, last time we went into the castle, murdered a bunch of guards after a voice in our head told us to. Our uncle got horribly killed falling down a hole because and because he's incompetent as a hero and apparently uh, the guards who murdered him uh, thought, to, thought to just leave his body and his uh, weapons and shield laying around. After that we wandered around aimlessly until I got horribly murdered by monsters because I'm terrible at bomb management. Uh, Nothing says epic quest like getting horribly mur murdered because you don't know how to manage your bombs. Okay, so we're going to venture. Venture down this way. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and do the first dungeon. I normally like to get the ice rod before this, uh, it's not really a big deal, per se, but at this point it'll be faster to go back and get it, uh, uh once I, once I have the boots, Pegasus boots. I really have no idea how to pronounce that guy's name, and I've been s seeing it for years. Sahasrahala? Sahasrala? I've always... yeah. Anyway, he's the village elder, one of the seven wise men. Sword of Evil's Bane, you have to have the three pendants. Yeah. I love how it doesn't actually give you a choice. Your choices are yeah or of course. It gives you like that faint illusion that you have a choice. If you're not paying attention. Is it stupid to fight these guys right now? Probably. Do I care? No. <laughs> uh, the reason is pretty straightforward. I want bombs. <laughs> I am a bomb maniac. I don't know if these guys actually even drop bombs. I'm going to go off the assumption they might. Hmm. Okay. Onward. First castle. Which is, uh... Did they actually put the name on there? No. Okay, so I think we want to go this way first. Ha! I am really on top of this. Okay. I'm thinking of this, uh, the Dark World version of this. It's more, some more awesome music. Uh, I think I can't remember if this is based on the enemies or a switch. No, uh, enemies. Compass! We now find the Lair's evil master. Because he's definitely not behind the giant door with the skull on it. 
definitely not. I mean, that would just be obvious. Okay, we need the big key. Okay, so there's a key there. That key will let us get to the door here. Also get my old fallback excuse of uh, I'm playing on a computer with keyboard and not a controller, which is a choice that I am making and is a terrible idea in retrospect. Um, but it is also true. <laughs> shoot is kind of annoying uh, compared to some of the other games. I mean, like, in, in the original Zelda, the boat was just like a machine gun. Probably stupid. Boom. That was a lot of rupees. 
We like rupees. Rupees are going to be useful for things like, well, right now, flippers. We want flippers. Flippers are bust. The sooner we have flippers, the better. Can't remember what you need to get flippers. It might be the power bracelet. Fearlessly facing down those guys. Okay. Boss, giant skull thing. They're subtle. I think we're full up on what we need. So these guys are the Armos Knights, they like form a ring, but what you could do is just kind of pin them as they go. Okay, we used a lot of arrows there, but that's how you beat them quickly. <laughs> uh, if I had the ice rod, you could actually use that to fight them as well, uh, which means we would have used magic power as well as arrows, which is less kind of like you refill your magic at the end, so you don't refill your arrows. So that part's neat. Okay, I have one bomb. I desperately wish I had more than one bomb. Uh, mostly because I can't remember what's at the back of Shurash's cave here. He's gonna give us the boots, and there's like this little. You know what? You know what? There's there's a place that sells bombs. At absolute worst. Absolute worst, because I, I want to say there's more bombs back here. It's one of those these things where you put a bomb in, you get extra bombs back at the end. Um, in addition to something else. I was right. I like being right. It happens occasionally. <laughs> 100 rupees, and you get your bomb back. And we get boots. Legends, blah 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 blah, my name is unpronounceable. Knights of Hyrule. Blah blah blah. Let you run fast. Okay. Now we're going places. Literally. Terrible jokes. Can't remember. I think there's something over here. Maybe not. Maybe it's still further. I swear there's something over here. Path of the Dark World. Need a hammer. Fairy fountain with actual fairies, thank god. have two bottles, so that'll do. That'll do.
I'm smart. <laughs> okay. So that is where I probably should have gone before I went in the dungeon, and I would not have died. Um, <laughs> you know, retrospect, hindsight, 50 50, here, 20 20, whatever. I corrected myself. That's actually one of the really cool things I like with this game. Uh, when you run into something, the enemies hear it. So, you can move around and the enemies won't even react, but if you run into something headlong and crash with the boots, it totally causes problems and it's awesome. Best way to get the book off the top shelf, knock it down. Okay, and I want to say there's a heart piece over here or something. So we're going to use one of our precious bombs. Uh, these are the Quarreling Brothers. Quarreling with my younger brother, so I sealed the door to his room. <laughs> My brother's still angry. I have no idea, but I can reach the goal within 15 seconds. Okay. This doesn't have like a timer or a change of music or anything. Qualified! Okay, that was actually a terrible run, but hey, I got a heart piece. I'm not going to complain. I, like, barely made it. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going back to town for. Uh, heart piece, book, that saves us a trip back. Um, um, it's something we have to do before we go to the desert anyway. Bomb. All the secrets. All the cool stuff. Okay, I don't think there's anything down here, no. We can't get through there because we don't have the power bracelet yet. here because with the bow and arrow I believe yep they're juking me <laughs> time. 
guess I got some arrows back. You know what's not in there? The ice rod. Kind of a weird thing that uh, I think so, I feel like some of the Zelda games have gotten out of uh, the habit of doing this. Uh, the ice rod is—it's not an option. I, I don't remember if it's a completely optional item. I think it might be. Um, and it's just in this random cave. Like literally, there's nothing else. No point. Just randomly. You bomb the wall, you get the ice rod, and it's pretty neat. You can see it does it does burn through magic, but you can actually use it on most enemies. And that includes bosses. So even bosses that you're not supposed to be able to use ranged attacks on. Honestly, you can actually use most attack types on most bosses. Okay, we're gonna hope... We're gonna hope this quiets... Well, that quieted it down. Uh, <laughs> okay, we have fairies. We're okay. Honestly, I kind of wish it gave you the option not to use your fairy bottles for stuff like that. Because we're like two screens away from Link's house, which is one of the places you can spawn. What Gremlin do? Okay. I go through here to the desert. The desert is way cooler once you can once you have power bracelet. Uh fairy fountain that would have been nice <laughs> five seconds ago okay and I believe okay first of all I do just want to say these vultures are like some of the most annoying enemies in the game they're very hard to hit because they actually circle around and follow you um I remember what's up here Oh yeah, randomly teleported up here. I believe if you didn't have the book, you're supposed to find this. And then he, you know, it's like, hey, do things and stuff. I think he tells you where the book is basically, and that you need the book to get to the next section. Again, this is probably my favorite Zelda game, and the main reason is because of stuff like that. If you don't know where you're going, you actually have to stop and think about it. And most importantly, there are a lot of items in the game. There's a lot of items in the game that have weird uses, or that have multiple uses. There's very, very little that can, uh... <clears throat> There's very, very little dead weight, I guess. Um, one of the reasons that I always... I I've been so hesitant about playing Twilight Princesses, because what I've seen in Twilight Princess... And yes, I'm a terrible Zelda fan. I haven't actually played all the Zelda games. Uh, I really like the classic games best, as with most things, and, uh... It feels like starting with Ocarina of Time, the, the kind of the modern Zelda games, uh, yes they've had better story and characters and interesting plots to an extent, I won't go too far on that, but <laughs> uh, they have, the 
it feels like the only stuff in them is there for every, everything's there for a reason and while in some ways that's good <laughs> I kind of like the idea of just being able to you know you kind of having to find your way I mean the original Zelda you literally don't know where you're going for most of the game of the whole game. I mean, there's some little hints and the little uh, old men and behind the waterfalls that you can pay for hints. But other than that, you're pretty much just on your own. You wandering around looking for dungeons, and if you find the wrong one at the wrong time in the first game, you're just in trouble. Obviously, there's been some growth since then. I, I will also say that's one of the reasons I like Breath of the Wild so much. Is, you know, some people are saying, "Oh, it's like Skyrim. Oh, it's it's this open world thing, and it's like the, all these other games." And no, 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 no. It's Zelda. It's like Zelda. <laughs> I love the fact that it's such a throwback in some ways, but at the same time, it's got that like it actually is. Like, as it goes, it introduces characters and stuff. Oops. Could have sworn it was right there. So, yeah. Um, I got off on a complete tangent. But, yes. The ice rod is a weird item because you don't really need it, and that's kind of cool. <laughs> and I like the fact that there are so many items in this game that there's a lot of them that you don't need, and there's even more that you can use. You don't have to use, but you can use throughout the whole game. Like, you know, you you. I, I guess I feel like in the modern Zelda games, a lot of times what you end up doing is you go, Hey, I got this cool item that I'm going to use, but I'm using it for this dungeon, because this is the dungeon where you use that item. And you, it may have a couple other uses as you go, but like, like in this game, you straight up, you know, there's opportunities to use the lamp in like every dungeon. The only point where the where the lamp becomes kind of superfluous, theoretically, is when you get the fire rod. And that's only because it can do stuff, er, because it's like lamp plus. You know, I mean, even something innocuous like the lamp, you use throughout the whole game. And I think that is so cool. And then on the other side, items like the ice rod or I mean, I guess, like, even the book, once you get to a certain, uh, once you get further in the game, uh, you know, the book really just has the one use in the main quest, but later in the game, you get to, you, there, there's these, ta those tablets, uh, that you can, which the tablets really have Again, it's an optional item. It's not by any means important. But they're cool. Actually, I guess they're not all optional now that I'm remembering. <laughs> and I guess that's another random piece is... As I'm sitting here and thinking, I'm remembering more and more that no, you do need those items eventually. And... I'm just kind of used to collecting them and them not having much of a purpose, but you need the, the one to get into Turtle Rock, and I, I can't remember if you actually need it for that boss, uh, the ice rod for that boss, which you might. So yeah, I guess what I'm saying is, there's lots of random stuff in, there's lots of random stuff in this game, and I like it, and Zelda in my opinion, should be a game about collecting random stuff and finding cool ways to use it. <laughs> and soapbox. Soapbox is never truly ended. Power glove! 
feel the strength. Now we can play with power. If you did not get that, that is a reference to the NES uh, accessory, the power glove, which was terrible in every way, shape, and form, but made a notable appearance in the movie The Wizard. It's amusing because they implied motion control. That's the right one. I knew there was a spot where you had to do blocks on the right side. Yes, uh, if you didn't notice, the power block lets or power glove lets you uh, lift up rocks. Uh, it's kind of neat. I know I said I was done with Soapbox, but I just want to point out, like, this is specifically a lantern puzzle. Actually, it's not. It just looks like one. <laughs> Which is almost even better. I don't... I think that the keys here are just hidden. Yeah. So... You know, this is all, that's almost better. You get through this whole section and, you know, you keep running into situations where you're like, oh man, this is a puzzle and I'm going to figure it out, you know, oh, maybe I have to light all the torch. And, no, no. Okay. And then, right after that, you get one that you have to light all the torches. Okay. So. So yeah, we're just gonna kinda... Hot shots at these guys. Uh, it's not actually terribly useful, apparently. <laughs> I'm remembering right, you can actually like use bombs on these guys too, which is kind of cool. slightly off center so that the ones shooting straight down don't hit you, but not at a 45 degree angle. Heart container, pendant, boom. And because we use the ice rod as our extra weapon to do a little extra damage instead of arrows, we're in good shape. Okay, well... I think I've probably gone more than long enough on this video. Uh, we got through two dungeons, we got the ice rod, we got the power glove, we got uh, the pegasus boots, we got the bow and arrow, we've got fairies in our bottles, we've got uh, a couple extra hearts. We're, we're in good shape. And more, more importantly than all that, we have bombs and rupees. Uh, I think next time we'll pick up with, uh, pick up, uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a save and quit here. Um, so yeah, next time we're gonna pick up, we're gonna go to, I think we can get to Zora's Waterfall now, so we're gonna go get the flippers, and we're gonna go climb Death Mountain, and do the third dungeon. So that is my goal. Uh, 
Hope you've enjoyed this. Like and subscribe, etc. And uh, have a good one.